I've traveled much of the Commonwealth in my day. Here are some basic survival tips from one wanderer to another. To survive in the wasteland, you're going to need to equip yourself with the best weapons to take down all the bad guys. During my travels, I've obtained knowledge of vendors that will sell you unique weapons. So take my advice and go buy these right now, but be sure to have a lot of caps with you. First up is the Experiment 18A, a plasma gun which has a faster fire rate and reload speed. The only way you'll be able to buy this weapon though is if you somehow find your way into the Institute. Tegan on the Pridewen can also sell you two other unique weapons, the Death from Above Missile Launcher, which provides you with faster movement while aiming, and the Sentinel's Plasma Caster, which deals double damage if your target is at full health. To buy these weapons, you'll need to reach the Brotherhood ranks of Paladin and Sentinel, respectively. Then you have the Big Boy, a nuclear catapult that shoots an additional projectile. This beauty can be bought from Arturo in Diamond City. While you're visiting Arturo, you might as well pick up Old Faithful too. It's a laser gun that deals double damage if your target is at full health. Then head nearby to Mo, also in Diamond City, who sells the Rockville Slugger, a baseball bat which uses 40% less action points in VATs. For those who prefer getting up close and personal, check out General Chow's Revenge, a Chinese officer sword that does more damage against robots. This is sold by Trudy in the Drumlin Diner. Combat shotguns are also nice, so give Penny a visit at Covenant to purchase Justice, a combat shotgun that may cause enemies to stagger on impact. If you like parties, then head over to Good Neighbor and talk to the Assaultron vendor Cleo to purchase the Party Starter Missile Launcher, which does more damage against humans. Sometimes we just need some automatic love, so travel to Vault 81 and wait around in this chair until the caravan trader Cricket shows up. Cricket is a little odd, but she can sell you the Spray and Pray, a submachine gun with bullets that explode on impact, doing additional damage to the area. The great thing about bumping into Cricket at Vault 81 is that you can then head inside the vault and talk to Alexis to purchase the Overseer's Guardian, a combat rifle that shoots an additional projectile with every shot. Find yourself needing some more accuracy in VATS? The Tinker Tom Special may be your next best friend. It's a hunting rifle that increases your VATS accuracy if you're not yet in combat, but beware, it also costs more action points to use. If you ever manage to locate Railroad HQ, you can buy this from Tinker Tom. Speaking of friends, if you pay Deb a visit at Bunker Hill, you can pick up the Wastelander's Friend, a 10mm pistol that deals more limb damage. Oh, and don't wait until the last minute before you buy The Last Minute, a Goss rifle that does more limb damage. You can obtain this weapon from Ronnie Shaw at the castle, but only after you complete a certain mission for her. I have many more survival tips to share with you, but I'm afraid they'll have to wait for another day.